um, Mashek Mulio Hapa, Imams Ustad Ndugu wa Islamu, Asalamu Alaikum. Kwanza wacha nichukue nafasi hii kwa heshima kubwa nikijua ya kwamba mko katika hali ya maombi na tutaki kuchelewesha um, mkutano huu kwanza niwakaribishe mara nyingine tena karibuni katika makao haya ya rais wa Kenya sio leo vile niliwaeleza peke yake lakini kila wakati mkipata nafasi karibuni tena mnajua taifa letu la Kenya ni taifa ambalo linamcha Mungu na kwa sababu sote tunakubaliana ya kwamba sisi ni binadamu lakini kuna Mungu ambaye anaamua mambo na mnanijua vizuri sana vile ndugu moja amesema hapa ya kwamba ilikuwa inasemekana huyu Ruto ni Mkristo sana sasa nataka niwaulize nyinyi mngependa Muislamu nusu nusu <laughs> eh si kama wewe ni Mkristo ukwe Mkristo kabisa na kama wewe ni Muislamu ukwe muislamu kwa sababu sote tunaamini Mwenyezi Mungu katika nafasi mlio nayo ya kufunga na kuomba mimi na waomba na nawasihi muombe taifa letu la Kenya mtuombe sisi tulio na nafasi ya uongozi katika taifa letu la Kenya kwa sababu mbali na kuitwa mheshimiwa ama excellency bado sisi ni binadamu na tunahitaji Mungu atusaidie ndio tuweze kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu na kutimiza haki kwa wakenya wetu wote <tos> Jameni na wazaza tena muombe taifa letu la Kenya Nakumbuka mwaka uliopita tulienda pale um, Nyayo Stadium kwa sababu tulikuwa na kiangazi ambayo ilikuwa imekaa karibu miezi eh, karibu miaka ine hatujapata mvua ya kutosha tukaenda pale Nyayo Stadium tukasema wacha tumuombe Mungu atupatie mvua na nyinyi ni mashahidi kwamba kuanzia mwaka uliopita mvua haijasimama bado inanyesha mpaka wakati huu tunamshukuru Mungu tulikuwa na matatizo makubwa ya chakula hata ingawaje tumeweka mipango nyingi tumepanga mbegu tumepanga mbolea tumepanga hayo yote lakini bila Mungu kutunyunyizia mvua kazi yetu hiyo yote haingefua dafu so tunashukuru Mungu Mnajua tumekuwa na mambo mengi. Chumi yetu ilikuwa katika mahali ambapo hapakuwa bazuri sana. Furaha yangu ni kwamba Mungu ametupatia nafasi. Na hata nilisema jana kanisani, tuko na nchi ya ajabu, tuko na nchi ya baraka. Na hiyo baraka itazidi wakati tunamuomba Mungu. So I want to ask you as religious people as people who believe in god to continue to pray for our nation because kenya is a great nation it's a truly blessed country and it is our responsibility to make it greater and we have what it takes to take kenya to the next level nataka pia niwashukuru kwa sababu mimi kama mkristo na muamini Mungu na niliwaeleza ya kwamba 
askofu wangu alinieleza mimi napenda sana hao waislamu and i wish christians were as committed to their faith as the muslims so you continuously challenge us the way you believe in god you challenge us christians to believe in god the same in a committed you make sacrifices and you are dedicated to doing what is right so you continue to be an inspiration to me as a christian when i see what you do as muslims and that makes us one community that makes us one people nalishia waambia pale nyuma ya kwamba mtu ambaye haamini Mungu hakuna tofauti na mnyama punda ama ngombe kwa sababu hana direction lakini mtu ambaye anaamini Mungu anajua ako na kiasi ako na kuelewa na anajua mambo hayawezi kupita mahali fulani so i am truly truly grateful to you as our muslim brothers and sisters that you believe in god you pray for our country and you pray for the unity of our nation um wacha nirudie mtansamee kidogo kwa sababu eh kwa biblia vile muko nayo kwa Qur'an na nyinyi mnajua Qur'an na Biblia na achara tu mahali kidogo hapo kwa Biblia inasemekana tunaambiwa kwa Biblia em um, sababu nilikuwa naongea na viongozi wengi hawa niko na marafiki wengi wa Islamu very good people very firm good friends lakini ili fika mahali wakaogopa na waliogopa binadamu sio kuogopa Mungu na kwa Biblia inasemekana kati ya watu hawezi kuenda mbinguni ni watu waoga mujichunge msikose mbinguni jameni mara nyingi unasikia uh, muislamu anasema oh unajua sisi tunaogopa serikali tunaogopa mtu please ogopa Mungu binadamu ni kuheshimiwa kama binadamu hatosheki na heshima unampatia anataka wewe umuogope vile Mungu unamuogopa wajana na yeye it is enough to respect other people but it is only god that we can worship tuni kweli mungu peke yake ndio tutaabudu um mumeniuliza mambo kadha and it is befitting that uh, you ask me on some of the issues that you consider are necessary for us at the policy level as leaders eh kuyashughulikia na mnajua ya kwamba tuna kuna mambo tulikubaliana mengine tumeyatimiza mengine bado kwa sababu ya tofo, eh, mambo tofauti kwanza um, mmeniuliza maneno ya vetting na nilisema hapa ya kwamba tunataka mtoto wa Kenya awe Muislamu Mkristo awe anatoka sehemu yoyote ya Kenya wapate nafasi sawa and that every child should be treated equally ile policy ilikuweko pale mbeleni imebidi tuibadilishe and we have now concluded the policy documents and from 
the beginning of May this year, in a few days from now, there will no longer be vetting for people who want to get IDs. And I am going to be issuing a policy document to make sure that we have a mechanism that is similar to other Kenyans so that we don't discriminate on the basis of religion or region. Bado tutakuwa waangalifu kwa mambo ya usalama lakini that should not be a basis for discriminating against any section of our society. We must live together as the people of Kenya. Jambo la pili mmesema kuhusu Hasla Fund kwamba ni kweli wa Kenya zaidi ya milioni kumi na tano wa Kenya zaidi ya milioni saba consistently wana benefit kutoka Hasla Fund na pengine kwa sababu ya um, uh, vile the financial product has been packaged not many Muslims can participate uh, it is the first time uh, I, have, I am receiving that request and I want to guarantee that I will process that request. Ili has la fund pia iwe na sharia compliant component. Ndiyo wa Kenya wengine waweze pia kuparticipate. Nataka ni muulize professor, amesema other financial products ya serikali pia ijumuishwe. I would uh, request or ask that if you give me a proposal on, and you have said you have professionals who can work out on proposals on other government instruments that can also be made available and compliant, I would value receiving that proposal so that we can process because we want to live together as a society and we want to benefit together in the products that we have as a nation. Vile vile tuliongea maneno ya wakf na ni kweli tulikuwa na kamati ambayo iliendesha hiyo kazi imekwama kwa miezi kadhaa kuanzia hapo nyuma na kusema ukweli sio uh, attorney general ali kuhamisha Ni mimi ndio nilikosa pesa. I must own up. Lakini sasa nimejipanga kidogo. So eh na Attorney General nimempanga namna hii. So in the next 2 weeks mtaona advertisement alafu tutatengeneza commission ya wakf alafu itasimamia mambo yenu. Eh tukienda mbele kwa maneno ya ndugu zetu wa nubi eh, ni kweli they have not been gazetted as a as a community in Kenya lakini at the moment hata wakienda kuchukua ID they are already identified as a community in with the national IDs but i think it is good to complete that process and gazetted formally in accordance with the law as a tribe in the Republic of Kenya. So, nafikiri hiyo ndio itakuwa kazi yangu eh, December mwaka huu tuanze process kwa sababu lazima tupeleke mpaka tupate idhini ya bunge. So, tutashughulika na hiyo kazi ili baadaye mwaka huu ndugu zetu wa Nubi waungane na wa Kenya wengine as a recognized community in the Republic of Kenya. Um, maneno ya mashule ni kweli nilikuwa pia juzi nilipata delegation ya wakorino walikuwa wamekuja kunitembelea hapa 
about 10 days ago pia wakanieleza ya kwamba hata na wao watoto wao shuleni pia wako na matatizo kwa sababu ya mavazi yao umeongea hapa kuhusu mavazi ya wasichana wetu waislamu hijab tayari kama serikali tulishatoa mwongozo tulishatoa regulations kuna watu tu wajeuri wachache sio wengi sana wachache ambayo bado wanaleta ubaguzi waislamu wa korino watu wa madhehebu zingine but we will do what we have to do as government to make sure that every kenyan can practice their religion without hindrance and every child pia wapate nafasi ya kusoma bila ya kubaguliwa kwa sababu ya dini because it is a right to every child kupata elimu um, so mwisho mimi nataka niwashukuru sana kwa kupata hii nafasi tuungane pamoja nataka niwaombe kama wa Kenya sote tujue ya kwamba taifa letu la Kenya linatuhitaji kila mmoja wetu ile mipango yote ambayo tuko nayo nia yetu ni kuhakikisha kwamba tuko na Kenya ambayo tutajivunia sisi sote mumesema vizuri tuko na changamoto ya vijana wengi wanaangaishwa na madawa ya kulevya na ulevi na mambo kama hayo kati ya matatizo ya hawa vijana ni wengi wao hawana ajira so we need to sort out the unemployment problem in Kenya we have too many young people in millions out of school out of college out of universities but they have no opportunities to work it is the reason why we have the housing program it is the reason why we are expanding our special economic zones it is the reason why we are expanding our footprint on uh, digital superhighway with ICT hubs it is the reason why we are signing bilateral labor agreements with many countries including UAE my brother is here and many other countries so that we can create opportunities for young people in Kenya to work vile vile kama watu ambao tunaamini Mungu we should make sure that we leave nobody behind it is the reason why we have the universal health coverage tumepitisha sheria ine mpya ambayo itasimamia mambo ya matibabu katika taifa letu la Kenya tutahakikisha kwamba kuna insurance for those who cannot afford the government will pay for them for those who cannot afford uh, bei ya juu bei yao itapunguzwa na wale kama sisi ambao tuko na uwezo tutalipa kiwango ambayo inatoshana na mapato na, na income zetu so that we can help carry the country together mimi tu nataka niwapatie hakikisho ya kwamba nchi ya Kenya itazidi kuwa ni nchi ambayo inaabudu Mungu dini zetu zote tutaungana kama ndugu na dada tukiwa sote tunaamini Mungu so we are going to be um, uh, working together in that manner nataka niwaulize viongozi hawa wenzangu vile deputy president amesema hizi vita yote ya madawa vita ya ulevi sote hasa viongozi let us be at the forefront so that we can defeat these ills and we can secure our children and the future of our nation 
Wacha niseme jambo moja. Kuna watu kati yetu hapa. Kwa sababu ya udosi kidogo wanaenda wanavuta kitu inaitwa shisha. Na hiyo shisha iko na madawa ya kulevya. Na hiyo shisha iko na pombe. Sasa niwaulize nyinyi What moral authority do we have to lecture other people about drug abuse? Kama sisi wenyewe tuko tumeingia kwa hiyo mtego. Na mimi na nawazungumzia kama rafiki yenu ndugu yenu Mkristo. Tafadhali. The same way I tell all these other people. Hii kitu inaitwa shisha hii iko na kesirani. Mujichunge na mujiepushe. So that we don't get addicts pia ya mambo hiyo na tuelekee barabara ambayo itatusumbua tukienda mbele otherwise muendelee kuchangia katika kupeleka Kenya mbele na kila mtu alipe ushuru <laughs> sasa nyinyi mnafikiri kwani hii Kenya nitaendesha na nini eh hata mgenita sakayo sasa sakayo inasaidia nini Waja waja tulipe ushuru Sakayo is not Sakayo is jina mbaya kuna mtu anaitwa Sakayo na hajauliza ushuru mtu so there is no problem tunaelewana jameni ndio tuokoe nchi yetu kutoka madeni saa hizi nimechelewa pale jioni leo nikiongea na watu wa IMF kwa sababu tuko na program ya IMF na wametusaidia lakini wanatusaidia tukiwa mahali ambapo sio pazuri so we need we have to be honest to ourselves we must live within our means tayari nimeambia bunge ile trillion 4.2 trillion ambayo tulikuwa tumetengeneza budget lazima tuanze kupunguza kwanza ikuje 3.7 because we must live within our means. Number 2, tarehe 15, 16, 17 tunaketi chini kama taifa la Kenya kuongea mambo ya wage bill. Tunakusanya 2.2 trillion. 1.1 trillion tunalipa mshahara. Bado hatujalipa deni. Bado hatujalipa operation and maintenance. Bado hatujatuma pesa kwa county. Bado hatu So tunakopa pesa every year tunakopa 500 billion 600 billion Si nje tutaingiza kwa mtaro So hii kukopa lazima tukomeshe Kwa sababu inasemekana mwenye kukopa ni slave ya ule mwenye anakopesha Sasa tutaki kuwa watumwa ya mtu So we would be firm. Na mimi nitanzidi tu kuambia ukweli. Mpaka turekebishe hii nchi. Mimi kwa mapenzi ya Mungu nimechaguliwa rais. Na sijachaguliwa rais nijaze nafasi ya rais. Ama nipate mshahara ya rais, hapana. Nimechaguliwa kubadilisha hii Kenya na kutoa maneno ya hii madeni tupeleke Kenya mahali pazuri. That's my commitment to you. So Nirudie nimalizie pale nilianza endelea kuombea taifa letu la Kenya asanteni sana Mungu awabariki